James said, People who think they are religious, but say things they should not say, are just fooling themselves. Their religion is worth nothing. Religion that God the Father accepts as pure and without fault is this. Caring for orphans and widows who need help and keeping yourself free from the world's evil influence. This is a verse that I think a lot of Christians are really well aware of. We've read this verse. We've heard this verse. I know that when I was growing up in the church, I'd heard this verse so many times throughout my life. I knew it was there. I knew it said that. But growing up in the church for nearly 30 years, I didn't really understand where this verse was coming from. To me, this verse was just one random verse where James is like, you know, the religion that God really wants is helping orphans and widows. And it's like, it kind of stood by itself. It was kind of this one single verse that didn't really have any context to me. I didn't know where it was coming from. A number of years ago, as God really began waking me up and showing me some of the things that we talk about here on Acts Initiative, I began seeing all throughout the Bible that God repeatedly talks about helping orphans and widows. This is something God cares a ton about. For example, in Exodus 22, God said, do not cheat a widow or an orphan. If you do and they cry out to me for help, I certainly will hear their cry and I will be very angry and kill you with the sword. Then your wives will become widows and your children will become orphans. In Deuteronomy 10, God says, The Lord your God is God of all gods and Lord of all lords. He is the great God who is strong and awesome. He does not take sides and he will not take a bribe. He helps orphans and widows and he loves foreigners and gives them food and clothes. In Deuteronomy 14, God says, At the end of every third year, everyone should bring a tithe of that year's crop and store it in your towns. This is for the Levites, so they may eat and be full. They have no land of their own among you. It is also for foreigners, orphans, and widows who live in your towns, so that all of them may eat and be full. Then the Lord your God will bless you and all the work you do. So here we see just a few examples, and there's a lot more in the law, where in the law, God is saying, I care about orphans and widows. I care about these people in need, so you should, and you should help them. And here in Deuteronomy 14, we see the origin of the tithe, the biblical tithe, is to help the Levites, the foreigners, the orphans, and the widows. It's to help these people and give them food and make sure that all their needs are met. It's not about giving it to an organization. It's not about giving it to a church. It's about meeting the needs of the people in the community, specifically orphans and widows. So you can begin to see a little bit of where James is getting this from. This idea, true religion that God the Father accepts is taking care of orphans and widows. That's what James said. He's pulling that from the Old Testament because he knew the Old Testament. And this is a problem in the church today where a lot of Christians have lost their familiarity with the Old Testament. We read the New Testament over and over and over and over and over, but the Jewish scriptures were the scriptures of the early church. That's what they were all reading. So we read James in the New Testament and we're like, where did he get this idea that religion that God the Father accepts is pure and without fault is caring for orphans and widows? Where does that come from? It comes from the Old Testament. It comes from the times that God talked about caring for orphans and widows over and over and over again. This is something God repeated throughout the law. He said, this is what I want you to be doing. This is love, meeting the needs of the orphans and widows, meeting the needs of foreigners and welcoming them into your land. This is something God told the people multiple times through the law. Then throughout history, later on, hundreds of years later, the people of Israel were not doing this, so then God sent them the prophets. 
Isaiah came to the people of Israel and he said, the Lord says, I do not want all these sacrifices. I've had enough of your burnt sacrifices of male sheep and fat from fine animals. I'm not pleased by the blood of bulls, lambs, and goats. You worship me, but who asked you to do all this running in and out of my courtyards? Don't continue bringing me worthless sacrifices. I hate the incense you burn. I can't stand your new moons, Sabbaths, and other feast days. I can't stand the evil you do in your holy meetings. I hate your new moon festivals and your other annual feasts. They have become a burden to me, and I am tired of carrying it. When you raise your arms to me in prayer, I will look the other way. Even if you say many prayers, I will not listen to you because your hands are covered with blood. Wash yourselves and make yourselves clean. Stop doing the evil things I see you do. Stop doing wrong. Learn to do good. Seek justice. Encourage the oppressed. Help the orphans. Stand up for the rights of widows. Now, this is just one example of many throughout the writings of the prophets where God is coming to them and he's saying, you guys are not doing what I said to do. And what is the example he gives? He says, help the orphans and help the widows. Stand up for the rights of widows. Encourage the oppressed. So this is where James is getting it from. When James says, true religion that God wants, true religion that God accepts, is when you help orphans and widows. Because this is something God said throughout the law over and over again. This is something that David wrote about in the Psalms. This is something Job talked about when he was saying, I'm a righteous man. He kept saying, I help orphans. This is something that the prophets came. Isaiah talked about it. Jeremiah talked about it. Ezekiel talked about it. Hosea talked about it. Zechariah talked about it. Malachi talked about it. Over and over, the law, the Psalms, the prophets, they're all saying, help the orphans and the widows. So in the New Testament, when James comes along and says, guys, true religion that God wants is when you're helping orphans and widows. This is where he's getting it from. It's not a verse that stands by itself. It's a message that God is repeating all throughout the Bible. This is something that is very important to God. This is something God has repeated to us. This is what he wants us doing. He wants us helping orphans, helping widows. He wants us to be people who go to those low in the world, those who are struggling, those who are it's difficult for them and help them. Orphans are kids who don't have family to help them. They're the most helpless in the world. Widows are struggling to get by because they are by themselves. And God is saying, you need to go to these people and help these people. This is love when you go and you help them. This is why Jesus said all of the law and all of the prophets are summed up in love God and love your neighbor. Because this is what God kept saying. Love your neighbor. Help the orphans. Help the widows. Help the foreigners. Help those who are struggling in your land, among you. Who, those who are in your midst, who don't have enough to get by. Go and help them. Don't only look out for yourselves. That's what real love is. It's when we go and we meet the needs of people, we lay down our own lives to help other people. Jesus said there's no greater love than when you lay down your life for others. That's what real love is, is when you lay down your life. That means not just you might die literally like Jesus did, but it also means you drop everything you stop living for yourself, you stop looking out for yourself, and you go help these other people. That is love. That's the kind of love God's looking for. It's not the feel-good Hollywood love that we've all come to know and accept in this world. It's the love of Jesus. True love is God's love for us, where he laid down his life for us. And that's the kind of love that we should love others with. 
That's the kind of love that we are called to love with. That kind of radical love. So this is where James is getting it from when he says, there are people out there who think they're religious, but they're only fooling themselves because true religion that God wants is when you meet the needs of orphans and widows and you stay free from the world's evil influence. The world is telling you to look out for yourself and do what's best for yourself and have fun and enjoy entertainment and all the other things that we're so used to in this world. James is saying, no, true religion is when you stay free from that and you build your life around helping orphans and widows, helping those who need help in the world. That is true religion that God the Father accepts as pure and without fault. These are the things that God cares about. These are the things that we should be building our lives around. Helping orphans and widows. This is what God's wanted all along. This is what God was telling Israel all along. And Jesus came to make us people who want to do what is right. He came to transform us and fill us with God's spirit so that we want what God wants. And God wants to help orphans and widows. That's what he said. The Lord your God is God of all gods and Lord of all lords. He is the great God who is strong and awesome. He does not take sides and he will not take a bribe. He helps orphans and widows and he loves foreigners and gives them food and clothes. Psalm 68, 5. God is in his holy temple. He is a father to orphans and he defends the widows. Psalm 146, 9. The Lord protects the foreigners. He defends the orphans and widows, but he frustrates the way of the wicked. So if God's spirit is living in us, then we should be like God. We should help orphans and widows. We should defend them and protect them and look out for them and meet their needs. That's where James is getting it from. True religion that God accepts as pure and without fault is this, helping orphans and widows, and not being influenced by the world, which tells us to look out for ourselves. So I want to encourage you, figure out how you can help orphans and widows. Figure out what you can do to go help the people that God cares about. Because these are the people God tells us he cares about them. We know this is his will. The Bible tells us this is what God wants. That's what God's will means. It means what God wants. So if you want to do something according to God's will, if you want to do something that you know is God's will, then go do the things that you know God wants because he said he wants. He said he wants to help orphans and widows. He wants to meet their needs. He is the God of gods and the Lord of lords. He is the one who feeds the hungry and helps the orphans and helps the widows and gives food and clothes to orphans, widows, and foreigners. That is something God cares about. So figure out what you can do to help orphans and widows. Figure out how you can build your life around that. Because if you think you're religious, but you're not doing that, you are fooling yourself. This is the kind of religion God wants. When you build your life around helping orphans, widows, foreigners, those who need help, that is the kind of religion God accepts. When Tess and I got married, we really wanted to build our lives around helping orphans and widows. This has been something that has been very important to us because it's very important to God. Around that time, we heard somebody who said, there are hundreds of verses in the Bible that tell you things that God cares about. Pick one and build your life around it. That's how we should be living our lives. We should be looking at the things that God cares about and we should build our lives around that. So I wanna just quickly share with you something that we are up to here at Axe Initiative, it's really just me and my wife, Tess. And we actually, as of very recently, we have now been legally approved to adopt. This is something we've been working towards for years. We've wanted to adopt since before we got married. We, we've been looking at these verses, seeing how much God cares about orphans and widows. And we've wanted to adopt because we see that this is something God cares about. And because, you know, when you follow Jesus, 
He says, those who love me will keep my commands and I will come and make my home with them. And he does that through the Holy Spirit. And he comes and he lives in us, makes his home in our hearts. And we start wanting what he wants. And we can see in scripture that he wants to help orphans and widows. And that's something we've experienced as he has come and made his home in us. Our desires have changed. We don't want the things we used to want. So even back before we got married, we wanted to grow our family through adoption. And a lot of people might ask us like, oh, are you not able to have kids? But that's really missing the point because for us, it's about loving these kids who need to be loved. They are already coming into the world. They're already out there and they need family. They need people who will love them and teach them to follow Jesus. We want to show them God's love. We want to We want to show them the kind of love that we now have in our hearts for them because we have God's love in our hearts for them now. It's not about we want a big happy family. It's about we want to love with God's love. We have that love in us now. We feel that love towards those orphans and we want to welcome them in. We want to open our homes to them. We want to give them love and give them family and give them food and give them clothes and raise them and teach them. This is something we've been working towards since before we even got married. We really haven't been in the position to be able to do it up until very recently, but now we're finally in that position. We are finally legally approved. And we're now in that process of raising the funds and getting to that point where we're going to get matched with whatever child. We don't know who it's going to be. And we're going to be able to welcome that orphan into our home and it's something that, you know, this isn't something we want to do just once. We want to do this over and over and over again. We want to welcome these orphans in. We want to help them and bring them in and give them family and love them as our own children. Are you able to open your home to kids? Because there are so many kids out there who need that. How can you do what God really wants? True religion that God wants is helping orphans and widows meeting their needs. So what can you do to help them? We should look at the things that God wants, the things that God cares about. He tells us what they are. So we should pick one of those things and build our lives around it.